It's happening. I'm at the location and look at this sky. So, our little seashell adventure continues. We've now left Ladik and are on the main island, Mahe. And this here is the view from our room. And right down there, I guess there's a nice beach, which we're gonna check out now and see if we find some yeah, photo spots for tomorrow morning, possibly. So let's go. So, apparently, it's high tide now, so there isn't so much of a beach here. And what this means is now we have 18.30. Tomorrow morning, sunrise will be about 6.30. So there will also be high tide. So this is something to consider now because it means that I won't take a photo directly here at the beach. Or at least I won't have much of a beach in it. So what I now do, I walk over to those rocks and see if I can find a spot there. So it didn't take me long to find a spot which has potential. I just went to the other side, to the next beach, and yeah, what you see here, there are some rocks in the foreground. There's this nice beach, with many palm trees, mountains in the background, and the sun should be up somewhere in this direction. So I have to check this to be really sure where it goes up, but I should get some nice morning light on this side. And also, this works even on high tide. So again, there's not so much beach here, but with those rocks, at least I should find a nice foreground, which I could include, especially with a wide angle lens. And yeah, then we'll just have to see. So I just arrived today. I haven't scouted anywhere on the island yet. And having such a beach or such a location right in front of the hotel, that's just pure gold, yeah? I don't need to rush around today. It's already getting dark, so I'll just give it a try tomorrow and see what I get. And yeah, I also try to film it. So, it's happening. I'm at the location and look at this sky. What a great sky. And yeah, I think this might even be the best sunrise till now with all those magenta colors. And yeah, couldn't be in a better position here. So I went for a four by three crop or I will do a four by three crop later having those rocks in the center, some rocks in the foreground, and then the mountains in the back. And yeah, well, this beautiful sky above it. And for the setup, sorry, I have to take some photos, by the way. <laughs> this time, I'm not using a polarizer because 
I want to take full advantage of the reflections of this beautiful sky on the water. Also with the dark rocks, when the light hits them, it looks quite nice and brightens them up a bit. Else they would just be very black. And I think here it's better to have some reflection on them. But I'm using a 0.6 hard GND from Casa this time. And this is already enough to balance the exposure of the sky against the foreground. When you have water or reflecting surfaces, you often don't need to go beyond two stops of uh, darkening for the sky, because otherwise the sky will be darker than the water. And this is something you want to avoid. So let's look at the photo. Okay, so currently I'm overexposing a bit because here at the equator, gets bright very quickly so I have to constantly adjust my exposure times so I'm shooting manual as usual so I have my aperture at f 9.5 ISO locked at 100 and then I just start I started with one minute then went to 30 seconds and just go down with the exposure times as it gets brighter and yeah that's really all there is to it I won't run around today again keep with this position or keep with this composition and just enjoy the show and that's really a show today so while i'm now waiting for the sun to break through the clouds and yeah, to take the final photos I want to talk about something else and this is the problem of yeah, waste or trash especially when you're photographing at the coastline I mean those places here they look like paradise from afar but if you walk along those beaches or across those rocks and yeah you look around you'll see trash lying around everywhere and yeah, well, this trash in the next storm will end up in the ocean. The fish, bird will eat it and will die. And yeah, that's really a problem. And what I think, there's a saying it says for us landscape photographers, leave only footprints, take only photos. And I think we could say leave only footprints and take photos and trash. So what's a good idea? Well, <laughs> is to have some yeah back with you all the time and after you've taken your photos on the way back to your car or hotel you can just walk along the beach and collect some plastic i mean it's not much work and also it won't change much but it's better than nothing so that's what i'll do now after i've taken my last photo i'll just take this back and walk around this rock and looking around it looks clean but I'm sure I can easily fill up this bag within like 10 minutes. And yeah, it's a little sad, but yeah, also I wanted to put this message out because we're landscape photographers, we're photographing nature. Yeah, we want nature to look clean and pristine and whatever, yeah. But yeah, often it is not. And what we photograph, it's very selective. So we always try to exclude everything that yeah, doesn't look so natural that's a little ugly we'll keep it out of the frame but it's there and yeah at least we can try to collect some of the trash so yeah maybe a challenge yeah, for every photo you take collect some trash or for every shoot you're out collect at least one or two pieces of trash although it makes no big difference it's something so now back to photographing